Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Jay Quinzel. So it's time for another toy hunt. We're going to hit up Target here in Long Beach and the five below next to it, then Big Lots. Then we're going to go to Down Downey, go to Walmart, and another five below. And maybe, I'm not sure yet, maybe go to Target in Norwalk and the Target in um, Southgate. I'm not sure about that one yet. But we are going to hit up this one in uh, Long Beach. So let's see what's new. I have ordered the Dennis Nedry 93 collection. I still haven't picked that up. So I'm going to pick that up and we'll take a look at it after we do our toy hunt. All right, let's go inside. All right, here we are in the Jurassic toy aisle of Target in uh, Long Beach. We have the Fierce or the Epic Evolution Triceratops, Neo Venator. This one's cool looking. I like the look of this one. Rawr. Uh, we got some T-Rex transforming dinosaurs. These are cute because they train into little eggs. We got T-Rex, Velociraptor, Dilophosaurus. So they have the old wave. There's a second wave that came out that has the Indominus Rex and all that. We got Osaurus. The wrong place, but it's still cool. Then I, ah oh man, every time I see this one, I just feel bad because I overpaid on it. And I, it's looking back on it, I feel so stupid. And here is the Sorna Expedition Pack. I love this one for Dieter Stark alone. The truck's kind of cool too. And here's the thing that I bought. I have it in my car. I picked up the order. It is a 93 collection of Dennis Nedry. It's pretty cool. He's all buff. He's on a motorcycle. He's chasing the Velociraptor. The Raptor looks cool. I don't know. I, I like these 93 collection figures. Um, I have the other ones and I really enjoy them. Here is Velociraptor Blue. This one's cool. Uh, I already picked this one up, so I'm not going to pick it up again. Barry Sambene. Love that one. Love Barry. Uh, below, we have the Ambush Pack. I love the set for the car. The car alone is awesome. Tracking attack in the Raptor. I love the reflective skin on it. Kind of like this metallicness. Allosaurus down here. A Mankisaurus, one of the big ones. They're huge. I have the Brachiosaurus and I think that one's big enough. Epic Evolution truck, don't care for it. Mosasaurus, I have the real feel one. This is, he's a hard plastic one, not real feel. Velociraptor blue, these, these are cute. I like these big headed baby dinosaurs. I have a couple of these uh, dinosaurs where they're big headed, it, it, proportionally funny. Uh, I, I think they're really super cute. Carnotaurus, Hammond Collection. I've been wanting to get this one, but I decided against it. Because I want to get the Giganotosaurus and the Therizinosaurus that are going to come out soon for Hammond Collection. So I would rather get those in the Carnotosaurus. Then we have a Super Colossal Indoraptor. Thing is huge. Not going to fit anywhere in my collection. Moving on, we have a Hesperosaurus, which kind of looks like a Stegosaurus. Some more King Kong stuff. More King Kong stuff. And lastly, we have this cool T-Rex. I love the coloring on this T-Rex. It kind of has like this tiger stripe thing going on. Really cool. Another Momenkisaurus. We have one of these masks. It's kind of silly looking. And then we have the Nano uh, Jada Nano sets, the dioramas, which are cool. All right, I'm going to take a quick look around and see what else I can find as Jurassic. If I don't find any Jurassic, I'm going to pick up and go to... Um, Five Below and maybe Big Lots. I'm not sure about Big Lots, but on second thought, because um, usually they don't have anything interesting, but maybe I'll go, we'll see. All right, so I'm in the Hot Wheels aisle, well, or the toy car aisle, and I noticed they have the Hot Wheels Racerverse pack of uh, Owen, um, don't know who that is, D Delta, I don't know, Nalosaurus, the Lophosaurus, these are cool. Oh, here, it says right here. Oh, and Velociraptor Charlie, Allosaurus, Dilophosaurus. Cool, cool, cool. I picked this one up already. I picked it up off Amazon. I think it's really cute. Really cute, really cool looking. And it's part of this set over here, which is the Blue Raptor Rush. It's a little racetrack where you launch your car, the Multisaurus eats it, and it comes with Blue and Owen. I've been tempted to get this one, but overall I decided against it because it doesn't fit anywhere properly in my collection. So. That's a downer because I really think this is cool. It takes me back when I was younger and used to play with match uh, with, with Hot Wheels. And I used to crash him and mess him up. That was a lot of fun. All right, let's keep on looking. All right, since we're here, I'm, uh, I'm just going to go to Big Lot, see what they have. I'm not really expecting much. I mean, there's usually like old stuff that I passed on before. 
but never know what you can find, so let's check it out. Okie dokie, here we're in the aisle of uh, Big Lots. This is not the toy aisle exactly, it's like kind of like the overstock, but we had a little dinosaur thing I wanted to look at. Kind of cute, Dino Rock, come with a stuffed animal. The toy aisle is on the other side of here which we're gonna go to right now. Oh, they moved it. Toy Isle's over here now, okay. It was an aisle pre previously, or it was a prior aisle. I don't know if they moved it or I'm just confused, but let's see what they got. Nothing much Jurassic. Um, interesting gun. Aquaman, interesting. Uh, I don't really see, oh, we have this cheap gladiator i have this one in my collection which is really cool car because it has the biosyn logo i love the biosyn logo that's a cool one but i think that's a regular price 9.99 i don't think that's a deal huh not really seeing much here in terms of jurassic and this is kind of disappointing i was kind of hoping oh we have these little dinosaur uh play-doh things don't know what those are hmm well, that's the point. I was hoping there would be something to show off here, but it doesn't seem to be much. Let's go to the next aisle. I think though, that's it for the toys. Yeah, that's it for the toys. All right, let's go to Five Below and then uh, keep on going. So Big Loss was a little disappointing. They didn't really have anything except for that one car. I'm not holding out much uh, on finding anything here in Five Below. Maybe they have some captives. I'm not looking for captives. Oh, I just want to take a look and see what they have. Here we are in the toy aisle of Five Below, looking for Jurassic. Sorry, why does Amy have an iPad? That's weird. I found these Jurassic Javas. I'm so happy I found these. I bought these previously and I really liked them. Or I only bought one actually, so I just bought one and I really liked it. And um, I've been looking for them at uh, Five Below and I can never find these and I'm so glad I have them now so I can complete the collection. There are just three in the collection, no, not that many. There's a Jurassic World Claire Deering. Cool. Uh, unfortunately, I already have the whole collection or fortunately, I don't know what you would say. Fortunately, unfortunately. Uh, more games, games and games. Nothing Jurassic-like, nothing Jurassic-like, nothing Jurassic. Ooh, that's kind of cute. The bot bag, those are fun. I don't know if I have one of those. Maybe I'll get one. Uh, what else do we have here? We have ourselves some guns, handcuffs, squishy stuff, squishy stuff, squishy stuff. Something really interesting here. They got captives here. Captives. Uh, these are just regular captives. They're not color change. They're not going in the dark. They're not. Uh, Hatchlings, three of regular captives, so not very excited about that. What else we got? Huh, I guess that's it. All right, well, I'm gonna buy these uh, Jurassic Javas, maybe get a snack, and then we'll head over to uh, Downey to go to Walmart and the other five below. Cool. All right, so we're arriving at Walmart in Downey we're with the dreaded glass. I gotta put up with the glass. I might get some aftershave, I'm not sure. But let's see what they have in terms of toys. All right, so I already picked up my shaving supplies and we're here at the kid aisle, the little kids aisle. Just to look at the Imaginex, they have this cool Jurassic World truck with an employee, a uh, Raptor, can't tell what that is. Not interested though. Behind here we have, I like this set. This set's cool. It has Ellie, uh, Ian and Alan, a T-Rex and a Jeep. I thought that was a cool set but it has not gone down in price, so I'm not gonna get it. Next we have Owen with uh, a Raptor, a uh, Compsognathus, and I don't know what the other thing is, Spinosaurus. Eh. And then we have the Stiglamok. I always pronounce that name wrong, but these are cute. I love the eyes, kind of follow you. But let's go to the real toy, the Mattel toy, not the little kid toys. Walking around, it seems like they've moved things from uh, one area to another. But here we have some more captives. Fun, fun, fun. But I am so captives out. I have so many that I just, I can't force myself to buy anymore. Unless they're the hatchlings that are flocked. But those are kind of hard to find since they're only at Walgreens in my area. But here we have, we have some same old, same old Allosaurus, blah, blah. Uh, Mosasaurus is on sale. Destroyed packaging. Some plushies. These plushies are cute. I like them. 
Ampelosaurus, Giganto, Gigantis Spinosaurus. I have a hard time with that one. A Trosraptor up here, a green one. Neovenator, Brigaloceratops, Nigerosaurus. And we have ourselves some Dino Smash and Squish. Again, nothing exciting, nothing new. Uh, yeah, I guess from here we're just gonna head to Five Below and maybe Target. I still haven't decided if I wanna go to Target again, um, but maybe so. All right, we're coming up on the Five Below in Downey. Uh, again, I'm not expecting to find much, maybe some generic captives, maybe some Jurassic Java, but I'm not expecting to find anything interesting really. I just wanna do this to include this in uh, the hunt is all. All right, we're coming up on the toy aisle. I just want to take a quick look at the coloring books. I saw at the other five below they had a Jurassic Park coloring book that's new. I'm not sure if I picked it up last time. I was at this five below, but I don't see it. This look kind of cool. Where are these? Slime? Interesting. Man, I'm gonna have to add music to this because uh, I'm gonna get copyright stricken. <laughs> They're playing music here at the store. Slime, Play-Doh, games, more games. See, that's the game. That's curious. Uh, nothing I'm really into. Huh. Crazy 8s. We got Jurassic World Uno. I already picked this one up. So we'll just leave that there. It's like in Xylan. Huh. Indiana Jones, really? Huh. Not expecting to find Indiana Jones at a Five Below. Bunch of pops, bunch of pops. They announced recently that uh, there's gonna be a, I forgot what the name of the story is, Miser, Mayor, uh, Jurassic Park Funko Pop. It's gonna be the Dilophosaurus in blue, I think. Kind of interesting color. So it's gonna be a, a bit of a struggle to get it probably, but it'll be fun. I might sing captives here. Maybe they sold out of captives. I see a dog means. Cows and aliens. Yeah, I don't see any captives. Actually, this store, compared to the other one, is kind of bare bones. Not much of interest here. Hmm. All right, let's pack up and go to Target. I'm gonna go to the Target in Norwalk first. Oh, these are kind of cute. Right nice for pullbacks. Huh. So I'm gonna go to the one in Norwalk first. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go to the one in Southgate simply because it's on the other side of where I live and I have to Blah, blah, blah. So, but we're definitely going to the one in Norwalk. All right, let's head to the car. Okay, so to recap, we went to Target and Long Beach, Five Below in Long Beach, Big Lots in Long Beach. We went to uh, Walmart and uh, Five Below here in Downey. That was a lot of fun. Again, I didn't find much. I did find those Jurassic Jawas. We're gonna take a look at them later on. And we're gonna take a look at my dad's Nedry figure, but aside from that, I didn't really find anything interesting. Especially in Five Below, that was a little disappointing. Well. Jurassic Java's again. Those were kind of cool. Uh, before I continue and we hit up Target, I want to remind y'all, if you like my video, and leave me a thumbs up. That will go a great way. And if you want to see more videos from me, don't forget to subscribe. It's very easy, very free. With all that said, let's get on the road and head over to Target. Last up on the tour, Target in Norwalk. Um, yeah, don't really expect much. Same old, same old. But... I wanted to include this on the tour since it was in the way and it's a target so let's see what they got on my way to the toy aisle i i never really come across these books that often so i always skip them so here we got some jurassic stuff we got three books in one with stickers big book of posters that was cool Ooh, they're velvet posters nice all right so we got that for jurassic in the book area then we have this uh Jurassic World Dominion Junior Novelization. These are cool. I used to read Jurassic Park Junior Novelizations when I was a kid. Uh, so I'm glad they're back for new generations. Here we are in the Funko and Collectibles aisle. Ooh, these are cool. Fright feature Don Spengler. I remember these when I was a kid. These are really cool. You press a button and his mouth opens and his tie goes up. It's really cool. Now what I wanted to say is I don't see any Jurassic Pops which is nice because Kayla Watts from Dominion, she was hanging around Target for the longest time. It was a little sad because uh, she's such a good character and that was a nice pop. 
So it was kind of sad that uh, she was just sitting around forever. But now most of them seem to be gone. I don't see any lingering about. What do we, who do we have here? Dr. Ian Malcolm. This is a cool one. It's a cool one. But let's over, head over to the Mattel toys. Anything on this side? Anything cool on this side? No, 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 Here we are in the Jurassic Isle. We got ourselves another Allosaurus for Epic Evolution. Evolution? Evolution with a B? What the hell? Uh, Neo Venator. A lot of the same old, same old from that we've been seeing in the other stores. Nothing really new that I want to point out. They even got the nano scenes. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really see anything interesting. They have this uh, Gujitsu. These are kind of cool. I bought a Gujitsu, finally. I was on the fence about them because uh, I didn't know how long they last and their durability and all that. So I was on the fence about them and then I saw the an amber one. And I was like, you know what? I'll just get it. <laughs> well, I guess this is it for a toy hunt. Wow. That was a disappointing hunt. Ooh, got some Lego minifigs. That's cool. Light up dino pet. Cute. All right, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go pick up my Nedry, this Nedry, and then I'm gonna head home and check out what we got. All right, see you soon. All right, so we're back from our toy hunt. Here is our haul. We got two Jurassic Java from Five Below. We got the bopping uh, punching bag thing from Five Below. And then we got the Dennis Nedry from Target. We'll just crack right into these. So starting off, we're going to open up this Jurassic Java. If you don't know what these are, these are little squishies of dinosaurs that come in little Java cups. They're super cute. I already have one of these and I like this so much that I decided to go back and look for the rest. There's only three of them to collect, so it's not that big of a, of a commitment. Let's open it up and take a look at what we got. Now these aren't mystery items. These uh these you know right away what you got. So here we have ourselves the triceratops, the cute little squishy, very basic. It's just a dollar at five below. And they come in these cute little cups, little Java cups, little coffee cups. Next up we have the red. Again, these are not mystery items, these are not like captives where you uh, try to collect from mystery. Blah, 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 blah. Let me rewind. These are not mystery items like uh, captives and where you don't know what you're going to get. These, you know what you're going to get. I'll show you how you know in a bit. So this is a Pteranodon. I love the squishiness of it. Here's how you know what you're going to get. On the back, there is a checklist. If you look at this one, it is checked off with a little Pterodon. The yellow one is a Stegosaurus. I already have that one. Uh, you can see it right there. Let me grab it so you can take a better look. The Stegosaurus is one of my favorites. Well, it is my favorite out of the bunch. Here's a Stegosaurus. It reminds me of my tattoo, the DPG. If you think my tattoo looks weird right now, it's because it's still healing. Um, yeah, it's still healing. I got it about, I don't know, I want to say a week and a half ago. And um, you can see the skin is a little flaky in some areas because <laughs> they got to get in there. All right, moving on. We got this Jurassic World bot bag, a little punching bag. I'm gonna open this one and inflate it and then show it to you in a little bit. So we'll set this one aside. I have assembled or inflated the bot bag. That's what it's called, the bot bag. It took me a while to uh, inflate this because I was doing it by lung, not by machine. And then I realized I had to fill the bottom chamber with water or sand. And I did not do that before inflating it. So I had a, uh, a bit of an issue filling up with water, but this is how it stands when you fill it up with water at the base. Really cool looking. Punch it around a bit. Pop. Gets back up. Dances around. Kind of cool. I like it. I'm going to kind of keep it in this corner here and uh, 
make, make it part of my decoration. Nice to add to the collection. All right, let's get on with the video. Lastly, we have ourselves the Dennis Nedry 93 Classic Collection from Jurassic Park by Mattel. I love this collection. It is so nostalgic as intended. And it just looks cool, cool, cool. All right, let's crack into it. I have, um, I have, I think all of them for the 93 collection. Uh, I overpaid, as I've said again and again, on the T-Rex. It's something I regret, but, you know, it was a, a FOMO thing. And, um, yeah, I just didn't want to miss out on the Rex and miss out on this collection in its entirety. Let's set the ra oh, hit the camera. Set the Raptor down there. We're trying to use less plastic. That's good. That's good. All right, so is that everything? Yeah, that's everything. Okay, so we got ourselves three bags and a dinosaur. Let's get into the dinosaur first. Okay, so if you collect Jurassic, you will have a bunch of raptors already in your collection. But I thought this one was really cool in the design. I think it was really well done. I like the coloring. It has that the natural look, but at the same time, it has that retro look. I think it works well for this dinosaur. Um, and then it has a, if I can get it out, I can't get it out. There we go. Then it has this DNA thing on the back. All Mattel uh, Jurassic World toys have a DNA thingy. You scan that and that goes into the app, I think, and gives you some trivia. To be honest, I never use the app. I have not actually scanned a single dinosaur. So it'll be interesting to go through my collection and see exactly what comes up when I scan my dinosaurs. All right, we'll start off with the white bag. The white bag. Uh, I'm glad that they're not using as much plastic anymore. Uh, God, we got so much plastic waste in this world. So here we got the first piece, the motorcycle. Love the detail. Has a Jurassic Park emblem right there. Or Jurassic World or whatever. The coloring is beautiful. This is great. It kind of reminds me of... um. I want to say it's Carlos from the Lost World Jurassic Park. He came on a motorcycle. I'm pretty sure it was Carlos. He came with a motorcycle and a flare. Uh, not a flare. A snare. And it reminds me of this motorcycle. I guess because he used both motorcycles. But uh, I think it's a nice little throwback for me. Here we got ourselves... Dennis Nedry. So as you can see, they reused the head from the other Dennis Nedry's, uh, the one that came with the Jeep that's missing the stripe. They seem to reuse that head. And it has a completely original body where he's buff in reference to the Kenner line where the Dennis Nedry that came out for Kenner back in the 90s, um, he was also buff. He was not um obese lastly we have the claw the capture gear let's see what we got oh many many pieces many pieces so uh, let's put this together first before i continue let's take a look at these instructions real quick i like to take a glance at the instructions every once in a while just to see what they put on i don't really Look at instructions when it comes to toys. Uh, when it comes to other more complicated things, yeah, I refer to instructions. But when it comes to toys, usually I'm able to figure things out on my own. But this is a nice little look how to piece it together. So yeah, I would have to reference the uh, instructions myself if I wanted to piece it together properly. Because I did not know that it will have to go through the bike, uh, the bike uh, axle thing. So here we go. We'll just what, snap this in. There we go. Snapped it in. There we go. So here's the motorcycle in its complete form. It has a hook or the claw to capture the raptor. And then uh, Dennis Nedry, he wears this, this kind of like flamethrower uh, apparatus thing. Let me put it on him. Now, this, this thing is kind of cool, the apparatus. I'm going to show it to you. 
Don't worry. Um, it does cover his face, so you don't really get to see his face when he's wearing it. But here he is. Kind of reminds me of like Bane or or uh, Mr. Freeze with the mask on. He looks cool though, doesn't he? He looks like like a like a badass. <laughs> like you can kick some ass with this. Look. Set everything on fire with the flamethrower. That is cool. And then you put him on the motorcycle. Uh, he can't twist his... No, he can't twist his uh, wrist. So he kind of has to just... I guess stand on the motorcycle? There he is on the motorcycle. Striking the pose. He looks cool. He looks sexy. So that was the 93 collection. Uh, Dennis Nedry with the Raptor that looks really cool. Again, I got this at Target. I believe the 93 Classic Collection of Jurassic Park is exclusive to Target. I have not seen these in other stores, at least not uh, as direct sellers. I've seen them as secondhand uh, selling. But uh, this is really cool. I'm gonna add it to my collection. I have it over there uh, up on the shelf. I'm thinking about doing a, a room tour. I just haven't decided when to do it as I'm always adding to my collection. I'm always waiting for this new item to arrive. And uh, I just haven't gotten around to taking clips of uh, my room and compiling them into a video. Well, if you would like to see that, let me know in the comments and I will speed up that process into uh, getting a, a room tour. The Jurassic Javas are cute. If you like them, you can get them at five below. They're just a dollar. And with all that said, I hope you enjoyed today's toy hunt and the follow-up video. And uh, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you want to see more from me, subscribe. That'd be really cool. With all that said, I'm your host, Jay Quinzel. And when you gotta go, you gotta go. See you in the next one. Bye.